welcome live to the Ophala show here in Manchester, UK on this usually late edition of the show because you're not live at this time of night, so it's a bit different for me being live at this time of night, 8 p.m. UK time, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, and of course, 12 p.m. on the West Coast on the afternoon. Uh, so it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, but today we're joined by an award-winning director, producer, writer, you know, uh, he's got some great films out. One of them is on Amazon Prime as we speak for £3 here in the UK. So do watch it and we'll talk about more about that movie which came out late last year. As well as his future film he is currently working on as well. It's coming out in May. We discuss all that with him right now. So please welcome to the show, Michael. Welcome uh, to the show live from Los Angeles, California, I'm guessing. Uh, how are you doing? Yes. I'm good. I'm good. It's great to be on here. Yes, we're in sunny LA, actually. So uh, love it. But no, thanks for having me. I no, no, it. you're welcome. And a uh, funny story of how we got here today uh, is yeah. uh, a while ago, you followed me on Twitter. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, out the blue. I don't know how you came across my profile. <laughs> I, I never talked about movies or TV actors or anything like that before. So I don't know how you came across my profile from the UK. But I appreciate mm-hmm. you following me. So I just randomly followed you back because I don't really look at profiles. If you got a verified tick, I just follow you back, kind of thing. Uh, I get I, I get mm-hmm. a few random uh, famous followers. So for why not have mm-hmm. you on my show? I saw a tweet uh, you posted on Friday, and I was thinking to myself, well, and you never really appear in my Twitter feed at the time I go on Twitter. So you right. appeared on it. So I thought, hmm, okay. I don't remember you, so I went onto your profile, and that's when I found about your work and all your other great things. So I, I did some more research, and I reached out to you. And within two minutes of me reaching out to you, you responded back saying yes, you'll be on the show. So thank you uh, for taking the time out to come on the show today. No, of course, and you know, I I have a lot of kind of artists, creatives, everything. They follow me, I follow them back vice versa, something like that. So um, I just like seeing people be passionate about what they do in whatever field that they're in. And, um, you know, that's kind of what I what I promote out there. So, yeah, you know, when you then messaged me, of course, I, I wanted to kind of be on your podcast because I see the great things you're doing, too. And uh, and I appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Um, yeah. So uh, let's uh, jump right into it then this is a uh, huh? it's a <laughs> you know uh, I, sure. I want to know firstly uh, who inspired yeah. you to to become a you know director writer and producer then this is, this is a variety of different aspects of the uh, movie uh, and film industry so that's a good question I don't Thank think you. it was just one person uh, in particular my dad showed me a lot of classic films growing up you know, from from Alfred Hitchcock films to Kubrick films to a lot of film noirs from back in the 40s and 50s. And then, you know, just going to theaters a lot too. I just loved seeing, you know, good, powerful pieces on the screen. And then again, it was the directors like Hitchcock, Kubrick, Kurosawa, Scorsese that I kind of emulated and I looked up to and I said, you know, when I get older, I would love to tell stories like these or captivate audiences like they all do um, as directors so um, all of that kind of helped and I always like to write whether it was just short stories or you know even before screenplays so all of those things just growing up even you know 12 13 14 I was doing I was just writing I loved to write kept a journal always just even about my day Um, and then kind of just took it from there once in college started making short films and never looked back great story i like that how uh, you mm-hmm. you 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 started off young and then when you got to college that was your passion and you went with it yeah. uh, throughout yeah. college and then how did you um get from the point of doing short films in in college to then getting to where you are today did you have to uh you know obviously you add that to your cv and whatnot and then when you right. saw different uh openings you then send it across saying hey this is what i can do can I be a part of projects and then before you start your own projects or or, or do you just jump straight into your own thing 
No, I, I think that my goal was obviously always to shift from doing short films to to more features because features are obviously seen a lot more. Yeah. And um and everything like that, but clearly uh more difficult because you need a bigger budget, more days, bigger you know, actors, the the whole bit. But um it was a little bit of of, you know, I built up enough credits kind of on my short films to kind of be on the radar of a couple people that might want to invest in it. But also I knew that I had to invest in myself too. I needed to prove myself that I could make a feature and then build off of that. So that was always the goal. I had a plan and thankfully um, here I am, yeah, in post of my seventh feature film. Um, so I, I think I'm doing okay. Are there stressful times? Are there times where it's it's difficult? Absolutely. but when you know that this is the only thing that you can do, the only thing that you really love to do, um, you find ways to make it happen. Yeah. I mean, uh, congratulations on your seventh uh, film, by the way. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you. I I want to know, like, uh, when, what was your, you know, like, what year was the first one you ever did come out? So you mean shorter feature? Yeah, yeah, sure. But both, it, both, just both. You well, yeah. So first short, I was nineteen. Wow. And the yeah, and the <laughs> the uh, I know it's it's pretty crazy. And then the um, the first feature. So I co-directed a found footage horror film oh, right. back in ten years ago, actually, early oh, right. twelve, early two thousand twelve. But then my first solo directed feature film was in 2013 i had just turned 26 gotcha. um then so um you know again you you build up from there so i kind of been doing it professionally essentially since then um but it's uh it's been fun overall like i yes. said wouldn't trade it for anything in the world <laughs> and 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 interestingly real real quick yeah you know, go ahead we, we met on Twitter and I would say around 2015 or 16, I started using Twitter more and I started to kind of give advice or say stuff about my experiences as an artist and a filmmaker. And it just organically kind of blew up a bit mm. where people started to retweet it a lot, a lot of engagement, everything build up. And Twitter actually, even though it still confuses a lot of people, has been has been an amazing platform for me because I've been able to link up and collaborate and connect with so many people on there. Oh, um, seriously. Yeah. And, and, you know, so that's, that's cool too, because it's all about networking. It's yes. all about kind of building those relationships. Um, so hey, credit to that social media can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but you use it in the right way. It can be very helpful. Mm, most definitely. And, uh, as you say, uh, you've uh, built up a great uh, platform, a great fan base uh, for Thank for your you. work, and as well to you know give a, give advice and you know give give props to uh, other creators who who are oh, maybe just starting out and whatnot as well to help them yeah. to get better. Yeah, no, I, I mean I like doing these kind of genuine posts about you know sticking with it and don't be discouraged about certain things because it's the truth i mean mm. i would i would have loved to hear more of this when i was younger too or so i'm just trying to still look i have a long way to go i'm still learning every single day but i still want to try to uh kind of put out the experience that i have over the last 15 or so years of making any films to other people that are starting out as well. So um, I like doing it. Yeah, and I, I agree with you as well because, you know, back 15, 20 years ago, there was no really social media. It, right. it may have been there, but it's not as big or huge as it is today, is it? And yeah. and there's not, not at and at the back of that time, there wasn't really good tutorials or other people doing what you're doing right now to help people when you were much younger learn more about the industry and about mistakes you should not make you know kind of thing yeah. but uh, yeah. but hopefully now with like yourself and other people uh, are helping the next generation of uh, producers directors and writers and whatnot 
Yeah, no, it's it's interesting. When I first started making my short films, it was late 2006, early 07. And I think I was on MySpace. That was it. That was that was the <laughs> oh, big yeah. thing back Bad then. Line, you remember yeah. that? But YouTube was still very kind of quote primitive. You know, there weren't any real YouTubers. It was just more like viral random videos mm. of like a panda sneezing or something like that. Like just random stuff like that. So as as things have evolved and then there's Twitter and Instagram and just a lot more social media that way. I think overall it's helped artists. Um, like I said, you can use it to your advantage. It's easier to connect with people. I feel, especially look, I'm, I'm talking to you or we're doing something from uh, Manchester to Los Angeles. Yes. So, <laughs> Bit of power technology. And, 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 and before, before this ends, I have to ask if you're more of a United or city fan, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be curious to know that. Well, I, uh, I, will, I will answer to you right now. I am a United fan. So okay, cool. apologies if cool. that is, uh, dampers your, no, 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 no. I used to watch, and I still do, but I used to watch the Premier League religiously every week, and I'm just all of it. <laughs> Things have gotten a little bit busier, but I always watch the Champions League. I always watch all of that, and I do try to catch games. But uh, you know, for for uh, for an American, I'm pretty hardcore into it. So uh, so there you go. But very cool. Well, uh, which, which teams do you follow then from the Premier League and from the Champions League? Then which teams do you like? So this is going to kind of confuse you, but okay. when I was like in the thick of it, because yeah. I know that they're rivals, <laughs> I really liked Arsenal and Tottenham, which okay. I understand makes no sense. North, North London uh, rivals, mm. but I love them. And I know you're going to hate me for saying this, but I also like Liverpool a bit too, oh, really? which okay. I know traditional rivals. However, <laughs> I have a ton of respect for United. I have a ton of respect for United. I mean, I, I love them, and I still respect them a lot, but during the uh, Sir Alex Ferguson days, I mean, that where they were incredible, and they, they still are, are good. It's just, you remember those couple seasons after Sir Alex Ferguson left where yes. they was it was a little bit bumpy. Well, it's still, uh, like, a, it's still like a today, actually, because, right, uh, right. because in November we fired our manager, Sosa, uh, former player. That's right. And, uh, you know, That's so right. even, what, uh, nine years later, we, 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 we still... Uh, are still back very hard to find any success since Alex Ferguson left. Alex Ferguson was some sort of kind of crazy magician or something <laughs> like that. I, I obviously, I was, I was young. I wasn't really watching it as much, but I mean, I, of course I know about 99 when they won the champions league against yeah. Bayern Munich, which yeah. by the way, I am a Bayern Munich fan as well in terms of non Premier League teams. I respect them a lot because Bayern Munich is very talented. Um, but that whole thing was crazy. And then I believe United won it in um in 08 as well, right? Yeah. Ronaldo that's was correct. part of that team too. Yeah, yeah. So I mean look, it's it's a matter of time. I mean, look, United I still think is probably along with Real Madrid or Barcelona the top most followed uh club in the world. Um you know so it's yeah. a matter of time i mean they have the money they have the resources they just need to get all of the pieces together to make it happen indeed you know? indeed and uh okay. whoever will become the new manager in the summer's got a big job ahead of them to try and motivate the team and and i think it goes yeah. further not just the manager being sacked but there's something deeper because we've had about what uh maybe four or five managers now probably yeah. fifth or six coming in in the summertime whoever it may be um, so I don't think it's the managers. I don't. I I think it's the players and the coaching staff, oh, and as well, and as well the upper buffs. So like the directors or even the owners. Yeah. So something. Some responsibility to take. Why? Why we're we not uh, competing for something the Premier League needs or for to the change. League. Yeah. Something. Something needs to change that way. I mean, you mm. have Ronaldo again. Yeah. And 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 all that. I mean, what more could you ask for? And I mean, again, I remember in the early 2010s when. D didn't Van Persie play for them too? Robert Correct. Van Persie. Correct. Yeah. Yep, yep. He, he's he was a great one of my star. Great star. He's one of my favorite players. Amazing. And then, of course, again, a while back, because I know he's been retired for a while, but like even having Rio Ferdinand oh, yeah. and, and, and all that, I remember there was real quick, not to digress too much on this, but <laughs> no, was, it's... I remember it, it, it must have been like late 2012. It was uh, City versus United. Mm -hmm. 
And I think United won last minute three to two. I think it was a free kick. And I think Van Persie might have scored it, but it was an amazing game. And, it was. It was. And if you vaguely remember, give me credit for knowing that. Like that's that's uh that that was pretty intense. But um I mean that's the thing. That's the thing about the Premier League. And I think that might have been the the season though where United won it in that crazy fashion with Aguero scoring against QPR. Um, remember last minute and, and all that where they beat United yes. for the Premier League title then, which I know is tough. That that was that was an insane season. That might have been the best damn thing. And and the shock with with Rooney looking from the screen at mm. that and 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 all the others. But um, but no, I mean the Premier League. Come on, they, they just the the pure entertainment of it. You can see why it's one of the most popular leagues. Well, you know? it is. And and the thing is about the Premier League as well. Uh, we, yeah. we will move on in a moment, people. So please do. Bear of course. Us. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, with the was. Premier League, with the Premier League, it's um it's a very intense and again entertaining. Yeah. And I think it's the yeah. most watched league than any other you know competition oh, it doesn't in the surprise world. Me. Because uh, because it's it's fast paced, it's intense, and it's a lot of moments. You know, you you don't know who yeah. may win. Of course. You you would expect one of the top six teams in the in the Premier yeah. to win the title, but you never know. Every now and then, a few surprises. You sure. never know. Like in Tracy, you never know. With Leicester winning it. Uh, as well, Leicester so. winning it. Yeah, that was that was crazy. But no, so it's good. Again, the minute that you said you were from Manchester, I said okay, he he's got to be either United or City <laughs> um, or yeah. something. Even if you watch it just casually, I, I mean, if you're from Manchester, you you have to know it because yes. your yeah. city is probably mostly known for those two teams more than anything else. Mm. And, you know, uh, I think so at least. I don't yeah. know. No, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. It is known yeah. for either if you are if you're blue or you're red. And right. uh, this side of Manchester, I am wet uh, from where I am. Yeah. And uh, taking you back to that game as well, back in uh, 2012, yeah, I was not very happy yeah. about uh, when no. I, grew, I saw, because we finished our game, so we flipped over back to City to see what they were doing. And, uh, right. and then we saw that they scored and that they won the Premier League uh, as That's well. That's insane. So, yeah, not very happy that day. And ever since, really, because uh, it's now that it's it's like they've now become the new United. We're winning all these trophies every year. <laughs> it's crazy. But- it's and but you know things could change. And and I mean, yeah, and they go deep in the Champions League a lot too. You know, and true, and true. But the it, thing is, they've not won it. That's one thing we can say. They've not won it. <laughs> That's that one thing we can true. say. Can we say won it twice. They're not winning they- zilts. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. They they have not won it. So yeah. it's it is interesting that way. Real quick, let me let me see if I turn on one light. If you can you see me by the way, or am I getting? I mean, you can see me a bit, or, or yeah, no, yeah, still. we 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 can see you a bit. Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, if, okay. if, you, want, if you want to turn the light on, you can turn the light on. Hold on, let me see if this helps. It's entirely at all. up to you. Is this a little better? Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. That works about better. Yes. Okay, not to shift halfway through, but anyway, sorry. <laughs> no Continue worries. again. I no I go on all these random random tangents, but no yes, no, it's fine. Continue, it's fine. Though. Um, yeah. So yeah, so there's our little soccer uh, thing for you. But one more thing I add about the soccer topic, as you say, soccer over there, yes. football. Hey, um, you can call it football if you want. It's okay. the real football, so yes. that's no problem. <laughs> I say American football and football That's so fine. there's no problem thank you um yes. do you do you suppose any of the major league uh soccer teams in in the u.s are you do, do you watch do you get any of those <laughs> or or not i used to watch it a little bit in high school but to be very honest with you i don't really watch that i tend to watch more the european leagues gotcha. i um you know again and of course international yeah obviously yeah, yeah. We, Euro Cup, World Cup, all of that. Um, I'm sorry about the Euro Cup with those penalties. England versus Italy, you know, <laughs> that was yes, that was crazy. England was so damn close, mm. and uh, and all that. But hey, I mean, Southgate's doing something right. I mean, think about it. The 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 last World Cup, you guys made the semis. The the Euro Cup, you made the final. That says something. The first final since 1966 as well. So uh, I mean, that's that's pretty credit to Southgate for that because yes. I think he's really instilled something in there. And you know, Harry Kane's amazing, and I think he's a really good young captain. 
um, for England. Mm -hmm. So you, I mean, you never know. You never know how, how it's going to be so weird that the World Cup's in like December of this year. I know. And they used to in the summer, but yeah. you know what? Let's just hope that it's it's a good World Cup because the 18 World Cup I thought was very entertaining mm, um, was. overall. Was, there were a lot of shocking moments in that. Like Mexico beat Germany. Yeah. I was not expecting that. I was that game. so pissed at that. But hey, <laughs> credit to Mexico. But I, I am I'm a German of and course. an Italian yeah. fan with that. I also like Belgium a lot. I think that Belgium's very, very talented. Um, and, and half of their players play in the Premier League, probably mm. more. You know, um, but yeah, so we will we will see. We will see indeed. It happens in December. It usually happens around England. You to play on my birthday in June. That's when they woke up in Europe. I'm are. June 1st. You're I'm June, June 1st. 1st. You're June so, 1st. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm 17 days after you. Uh, when it's my birthday. It would be starting then or it would be going on yeah. then. Yes, yeah. correct. And You're usually right. every four, every every two years, uh, England do play on my birthday. But for the first time in my lifetime, they will not be playing on my birthday this year uh, for once. <laughs> so at least, at, at least they shame. can't give me um, a little bit of, um, you know, they can't give me any bad luck. A birthday year, present. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> oh well, well let's see. Maybe you get close to a Christmas present because it's going to yeah. be in December. Yeah, you never true. know. That's true. Hope you never win the thing. You never know. Um, right. So, right. So, um, let's move on uh, to this, and then we'll come back to some sports in a bit. Um, sure. So, let's talk about uh, your latest uh, your film. It came out in uh, November, or December. The Handler. Yeah. Uh, what yes. a great title! The pictures on the screen uh, of Thank of you. the uh, the picture of the film. It's on Amazon Prime. It's three pounds, yeah. by the way, to watch it on Amazon yeah. Prime here in the UK and of course elsewhere in the world. Um, how did you get the concept for this film, as well? And um, was it difficult to find the right characters, the right the right actors to play the characters? So we actually shot this a few months into the pandemic actually oh, okay. if you believe that so we filmed it in late july of 2020 gotcha and i was racking my brain to be like we all had cabin fever i know that the uk had crazy lockdowns all that by the way not to digress I, 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 it, it's true you guys uk in total has ended everything haven't they like all the mandates and all that isn't that correct uh well well from thursday this thursday uh there'll be no more masks in shops no more masks you, well, you, you don't have to wear masks in shops you don't wear them wear masks in uh, on public transport here in england anyway uh from I thursday mean, and then from I'm march jealous. and then from march oh. they want to end the whole testing so we'll see about that because they want to go I mean, back look, to I, fully normal which I support by the way I think we should go back to normal it's been going for too long I agree I agree and look I'm not some crazy obviously like when this happened and I'm a I'm a I'm a common sense I think that people should have have responsibility all that but w what's not talked about and I'll get back to the handler but yeah, yeah, what's not talked about not to go on this small little rant <laughs> is um, also the psychological aspect mm, of it and that we've learned agree. so much since then and if somebody wants to keep wearing masks and doing all that God bless them that's fine but I think uh, I am a little jealous with that with, with um, it's funny because with uh, in June of last year for a month LA uh, ended everything That's right. okay That's right. and I went I went to an arcade bowling alley mini golf everything the whole bit bars it did feel back to normal for a month people seemed happier too um, and everything so um, and then they closed it back down and look I understand reasons but it's it's just I really feel like even for the people that don't say it everybody's tired of it yes everybody is there is yeah you know um, I agree. So everybody's tired of it and and you know hopefully we're in a trend where things will get back to normal mm. where we can see everybody's faces and it's beautiful and all that i just want to throw that in the universe that hopefully that happens so uh so you're lucky though uh, hopefully for the now. US will. <laughs> for now, anyway. For now, for now. For <laughs> now. Very good point. Yeah. Hope that it stays that way mm. and that that it doesn't. It's not detrimental or anything. But anyways, um, 
I wanted to make a film really badly. And it was actually my neighbor who, there was a, a whole house that I could use. And that spawned the idea for me to be like, all right, why don't I do a kind of interesting action film where a guy's holding a safe house and mercenaries and bad guys swarm him to try to kill him and he has to fend them off and all that. And it kind of grew from there. And Chris Levine, who plays the main guy is awesome. Um, we, we did training, we did all of that. And we shot the whole thing in seven days plus two pickup days. So nine days and it's a feature film. It's very, very quick, but it was again, um, total credit to the cast and crew that uh that made this happen so um and now it's out and again you know if you take the film as it is as a kind of no nonsense just popcorn you know action film that you have to suspend your disbelief onto you will have a good time it will be entertaining you know if you're looking for shakespeare this isn't it if you're looking for something like super high you know that that type of thing you know it is it is just a throwback to 80s and 90s action films take it as as that and you'll have a good time so i mean people like so i mean for instance uh, maybe I, I i won't compare it but i'm gonna say yeah. people might want to watch this and think you're saying it's remind people the 80s or 90s action films so people yes. Like movies like Die Hard, for instance, people will yeah. people will, will like this film because of uh, they 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 seen something similar in Die Hard, where it's action packed, just like this yeah. film. Uh, I couldn't think of any other films. Beverly Hills Cop, maybe uh, maybe another because yeah, that, that, that's quite an action uh, as well uh, film. I think I think all of those, yeah. But again, even mixed with like Commando a bit, yeah. a little bit of Rambo, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, it's just. I wanted to tell a kind of entertaining action film and you know all of that have you, so, have, um, you have you received um uh the reviews yet for 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 its been, oh, since, oh, since, sure. since since it's been on Amazon Prime since it came on Amazon Prime have you heard uh, much feedback from that yet of, of of how it's doing on Amazon Prime I hope it's doing very well so far well I hope so too no I mean it seems like like I said I mean you know not everybody's going to always like the films that you make, but th th there are people that really seem to enjoy it and mm. be entertained by it and all of that. So I, I like that. Again, there's people that don't like Citizen Kane or Godfather or, you know, Goodfellas or anything like that. So, you know, again, like I said, if you take it for what it is, I think that uh, indie action people or people that realize this is an indie film, but action will be pretty impressed with some of the fight scenes. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but there's towards the end, there's, a, there's about an eight minute fight scene that goes throughout parts of the house. And that's some of people's favorite scene because it looks pretty good and I'm pretty proud of it. And Chris actually fights Matt Erdems, who was our fight choreographer, who is actually a kickboxer oh, wow. and a current kickboxer. So he has this experience. He was flying through the air. He's crazy with kicks, obviously. But and then you add the 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 blood, the makeup, the everything, the music, and it's it's good. And the guy who scored it, actually, Grant Kirko, uh, fellow UK member, he's from Scotland originally. Um, he did the music for the N sixty four game Goldeneye. Wow. And uh, and a, and a bunch of other banjo and kazooie like Perfect Dark uh, or something like that so um he's done a lot he he kind of did a lot of video game composing and then he transferred to uh more film but he's awesome though you know he's that's good cool. that's cool yeah. you get yeah. you get a great expert you know in in in, in different uh video game music to help you in this film it's great totally. to see and uh, yeah. if you've not seen the handling check it out right now on amazon prime three pounds i googled it today, yesterday it's three pounds uh, that's cool watch. that it's on there though that's cool that it's in the uk yes though. i know i was kind of surprised that. when i googled it to, to see if it's going to be on over here i was originally going to say amazon prime in the us but then i thought then i saw it says three pounds over here so that's not too bad i guess i know i know but you know what it's it's people supporting indie filmmakers like i said everybody's going to rush to the to the studio stuff but they're making millions and millions too i think that there's something about helping indie artists and showing the support that way that's that's really good too 
yeah, you know? Good. Yeah. Because, yeah. So because, that's good. Because, uh, you know, what people don't realize is that, you know, the, the bigger actors, you know, making loads of money while the indie people, you know, the indie actors, the indie crews, uh, don't we have much, do they really? And every little helps, you know, to help these guys yeah. out and to get them to get more exposure for them. It's hopefully will lead into bigger roles and get onto that mainstream as well. Like like for you as well, for instance, with your films you're making. No, you're right. You're right. And um, and and like I said, I just I want to keep stepping it up. But at this point, you know, indie films. That's what I know. But we really put all of this passion and hard work behind it you know so um anybody who wants to support i'd be more than grateful on amazon um as well i don't know if, if you have it you can also check out my film chase c-h-a-s-e chase um which i'm a film i'm very proud of as well oh yes from 2019 you see it yeah. Uh, let me make sure. Yes, and uh, the great thing about that is film it, is it available? Is uh, it available? On, that, on 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 that film, it's actually free to watch with oh. Amazon Prime. So, guess you it's included with your uh, normal fee. You pay for Amazon Prime to you get on the on 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 the streaming service, and it's you should watch three that films to watch. So, please do check that film out, made by Michael as well, and uh, you can feel free to give the people here. Um, uh, a brief uh, teaser of, of, of what they can expect in that film if, if, if they've so, not seen it so Chase is actually my most successful film to date actually that's the film that really kind of put me on, on the map and and, uh, and everything and it's really cool it's about a hitman who's oh, kind yes. of torn between yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 right it's, um, and, and he's torn between his girlfriend and his mentor and best friend who wants to keep him in the business and the girlfriend wants to uh, take him away from the business gotcha. so he's torn in the middle but um, that film's really nice and, uh, and people should watch that as well so that's my most successful film and it is free you know? over here for all the people who want yeah, to watch that so, free, if you, so if you have Amazon Prime Go on there, find Chase. You will enjoy the movie, and, uh, and you, know, you can watch it too. I'd be, I'd be curious to know what you think of it. Yes, you know. Yes, I'll have to watch that, but definitely I will have to. <laughs> definitely, I, definitely. I, I, I do hope that you get onto, uh, you know, other platforms as well, like Netflix, for instance, hope so. well, because they're, yeah. they're booming as well at the moment. And uh, Disney. That's a that's a much. tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one there. But no, I'm, you know, again, Handler was was great, and then. Um, in October and November of last year, I shot my film, The Sweepers, and that's actually the film that's going to be. So I have a lot of films in post. That's yes, going to be do. the film. That's the film that right now is getting edited. And then my film, Shadows, is yep. the one that's going to be released in May. Yeah, that's the I one the that, that on the screen. You right saw now. the poster. Yep, the credit, new poster. The new poster with the gun. Now, yeah. personally, if I if I want to be honest, and they're all my babies, that I love <laughs> all of them. But if I'm being very honest, besides, because I can't tell with sweepers because it's getting edited, and I've only seen a little bit of it. Oh. But in terms of completed films or films to be released like that, Shadows is my best film I've ever made. Seriously, bar none. Shadows is is the best film that I've ever made. It, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you go ahead. <laughs> no, it's 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 the most complete, best acted, just everything. If I had to put a pin on it and I had to say, hey, this is this is the the film, it would be Shadows. Yeah. Don't blame me that, and I do like the new. Oh, we lost him. Have we lost him? Oh no, I'm. He, can you can you see here? I'm just. It, it was just a spam thing. Oh, Do you okay. see me? <laughs> I can see you now. Yes. <laughs> it was me. some spam <laughs> call. Oh, I always get that. But yeah. but anyway, sorry. So so that always. but that is my best film now that always. I've ever done so far. Uh, mm -hmm. We always get phone calls on this show. I don't know what it's about this show or any time we do a show. We always get. I'm sorry. I, I, your I fault. just. <laughs> you know, but but anyways, yeah. So that's that is my best. Uh, I I will say before we uh, got in, uh, interrupted there that uh, I I I'm I'm glad you updated the uh, the poster because I like this poster with the gun. It makes it much more. It, it makes it more eye catching. Uh, yeah. Makes it more stand out more as like a movie I have to see. 
when it comes totally. out. Um, now, you've seen yeah. that um, on this film, it's coming out in May, as you say. Do we know yes. what platform this will be out on yet, or is that still, to come, is that still in the works for uh, to come That's out? That's still in the years? works. That's We don't know yet, but we're going to be we're going to be pushing it hard we're going to really be be um be yeah i mean i just i'm hoping that it's on a lot of them i think it'll definitely be on like the usual stuff amazon and everything but um this film is also the film that probably has the biggest names uh in in any of my films um people would recognize their faces if they don't know their names yeah. david labrava who's one of the regulars on sons of anarchy and mayans wow. Uh, Krista Krista Allen has done a ton of stuff. Francis Capper was uh, one of the main people in that show, Veronica Mars. He was the little kid in Kazam. He was in um, A Bronx Tale. Wow. Uh, he was in a ton of stuff. And then um, uh, Jasmine Lewis was uh, Ice Cube's wife in those barbershop movies. Um, oh. If you remember, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, a ton of a ton of other stuff. Eric Etzabari, who was like the main guy in that video game payday oh yeah or something yep. yeah so, i know that game yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. wow um, yeah he's he some whole big names bunch. we we do vernon wells who who was the main guy in commando wow Bennett, yeah. and he was also the main bad guy in road warrior back in the early 80s mm. so we we got some we got some good names simeon panda who's mostly known for for bodybuilding and all that fellow uh fellow brit as yeah, well yeah. he just has a major following from from uh from his kind of bodybuilding type stuff so it's it's our yeah biggest biggest names mm. for me currently that i've worked with and, so and, and that is a good people and that is a yeah. good lot of big names you got coming onto on board for this uh, great movie and yeah. i'm sure this might be your best movie to date when this comes out i in think May. so I, I really do think so, and I think it'll be my my best, well received film as yeah. well. Um, I do, you know. So we will see. We will see with sweepers how how uh, how that goes. Yeah. Um, I feel. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, the picture for that, so I do apologize. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We had a concept poster. We don't have a, like an official poster, gotcha. but sweepers, sweepers. You, if you scroll through, uh, you know, I've. I've done some screenshots or you look up my name and then the sweepers that was a fun one to do so i think when that gets edited and done it'll probably be between shadows and sweepers which one will be my best film um that i've ever done but as long as i'm continuing to step up that's that's what matters yeah you know? yeah absolutely no, I, yeah. I i agree with that and with each film you're doing it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and as you say, the Thank Shadows you. movie could be the biggest film to date. Again, depending how yeah. Super does as well. But I believe, just by those names you mentioned a minute ago, I believe, uh, you know, it's going to be a great movie. Uh, the Shadows. People uh, are going to see it. It's 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 going to, I think, grab an international audience. Yes. And then, of course, you might have seen me post. So I finished a script. Actually, oh, I no. finished a script like New Year's Eve yeah. of of this one. So almost a month ago and that one actually might be my best script i've ever written so that one i don't know when i'd be filming it i want it to be my next film yeah but um you know we we will see and with that one cast everything would be that would be very important too you know good Good to see that. I can't wait to see that when, when when you announce that. And of course, just for people yeah. who are wondering where they can find you on social media, I, I have been showing it often on during the show. Right. But uh, just right. just for people who may want to know what platforms you are on, uh, where can they find you on social media? So I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, probably use Twitter and Instagram the most. But if you just search my my full name um on any of them i should pop up verified on twitter so i'm easy to find instagram's a slight pain in the ass with i don't know why they're not verifying me it's all good <laughs> but but if you look me up on instagram you'll you'll see it pop up pretty easily and that's me um and then i have my facebook official page too that i post on so um i try to be pretty receptive uh with with replying and responding back especially on twitter 
um, as you know. So um, yeah, I, I frequently use it. It's it's building your brand. It's kind of spreading the uh, the love and the passion and all that good stuff. So uh, you know, you can say hi. I think I'm a pretty friendly person. Um, but uh, but yeah. So th- those ones I'm on. You you, know? you you say you get phone calls on this show. I'm just I'm just getting a phone call on my phone. I'll be speaking right now. Look, it's like to this podcast. I'm not answering it. Um, I, I think it's I'm like oh. Right it's yeah. crazy the minute that you're busy your phone blows up like crazy yeah. right that's I've how never happened goes. before on this show I've been doing it for about three years on YouTube almost three years on YouTube and I never I never had anybody call me live on the air it's episode. weird so it's but weird I, I think I recognize that number because uh, I have a, I have an app uh, where I can text uh, and call any free US number on this app I have interesting on my phone. And it's just, and that app has just called me. Now the number which rang me, it, it looks familiar to me, but I can't tell you who it is because <laughs> I can't there save I can't save contacts. It, it does show me the number, but I can't remember who it is without looking at the text. So uh, I mean, I'm intrigued to see who it was because if I knew who it was, I'd be saying, be you know, I, yeah, I wasn't you know. answering. I was, I was on my air. Um, but I mean, you know, great social media. If you got a big following on Facebook with thirty something thousand follower likes on there. Mm-hmm. Twitter, forty-seven thousand followers, and Instagram. I think fifty-seven thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty-seven thousand. My apologies. And Instagram no, okay. with uh, five thousand. So I'm hoping that more people will follow you on Instagram to help you to get that oh, platform to show to Instagram that you are the real person and that they can verify your Instagram as well. But course, I've yeah. I've tried. It's the it's the weirdest thing. I don't know. Again, I I guess I got to be patient. It'll happen sometime. That's why I put on my Twitter on the thing. On, on one of the, the main things, mm-hmm. the link to my Instagram so people know that's the real one. Yeah, like don't blame you, know, me. Don't blame you at you all. Know. Um, but yes, thank you, though. No, you're welcome. And uh, if you are on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, or if you use all three, then make sure you do, do, you, you do follow Michael and do share him about mm-hmm. to all your friends and like him and follow him on our business. Tell me about Michael and his great movies. And uh, make sure you, uh, you keep up to date with all his latest projects, including Shadows. Uh, as well and uh, this is going to be coming out in May uh, and yeah. of course the yes for confirmation of where you can watch Shadows will come out soon on all his, pro- on all his yes. social medias as well um, yes I hope uh, maybe one day uh, we could do uh, a short film uh, maybe I could yeah. tell you something and then maybe you can make it happen or something be interesting <laughs> yeah, I love <laughs> that yeah, yeah no, I, I love that <laughs> throw I, that out there I, I would I would love to film in another country. I've been to England before. I haven't been to Manchester, but oh, I've, so I've been to England before. Where, where uh, about in England did you go? Did you go to London or did you go somewhere went else? Went to London, went to London, went to Bath, went to oh, nice. saw Stonehenge, oh, cool. which was which was very cool. Um, and a couple other places. I actually, I, I've been to quite a few countries in Europe. Oh, no. um, but okay. I, I really, yeah, I really did like, I went to uh, Southampton as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and and so mostly mostly the South or kind of near the South. Um, but but no, I, I liked England a lot. And like I said, you know, once things get back even more normal oh, yeah. and all of that, I think that I'll definitely be more open and, and everything like that because... I mean, I, again, I don't know how old you are, um, but I don't know if you want to tell me. I'm guess. I actually, I don't want to guess. Uh, <laughs> you, you want to tell me? Okay, so uh, I'll give you a hint. So you mentioned early on in the show, you mentioned about how United won the treble in 1999. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, at the time of that, when it happened, I was not born yet. I was born a month after the treble. Okay. Now you know how old I am. That's so you were born age. in June, June of 99, Correct. which would make you 22. Correct. Yes. Yep. 22. Hey, credit to you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd be 23 this year. You're, But that's interesting because you're, you know, you said you've been doing YouTube for three years now. So you started at around, what, 18? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah something like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, credit to you because starting young like that helps. Like I said, I made my first short film at 19 so um you know it's it's uh 
it's a long process, all that. Do you remember when United won it in 08 or were you too young or you do vaguely remember that? I do. I do watch that. I never watched that because I was about, uh, I was either eight or nine when they won that. Eight or nine. I did did watch that. Yeah. That was, uh, I bet the city went crazy. So, or your parents (laughs) or family went nuts over it. So. Uh, I'm sure I believe you do remember that. I believe it was in um, Moscow. I think it was when they won that. Yeah. Um, because I remember the chant was saying United going to Moscow, Moscow. We still sing that today. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Not, we, No, we don't go to Moscow at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, we still sing right, that. Chant. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, but no. Anyways, um, no. I mean, I I think that it's great. And like I said, I I, I really like artists who who are building their own kind of brand everything like that i think that what you're doing is great i mean you're 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 making it happen forever you're you're still you're very young i'm serious i mean you got you got a lot of a lot of years and all that who knows where where you're going to be creatively by the time you're 30 Ooh. even so <laughs> I, hope, um, I hope i hope if more people like yourself and more actors as well come on this show talk about your great movies as well and other movies as well i need to get back on to well like uh, i said you, you gotta you gotta email me that because you did a really nice kind of thing with the picture and your thing you send that to me and i'll i'll post about it and and share it and kind of direct people to this uh this link too when it's up so i'm all about you know sharing sharing the success and the love like i said you know well thank you for that well the uh the stream is live as we speak so it, it, i have cool. uh, i uh quoted the tweet from yesterday with the picture you were on about i believe that's of, right of the parental picture and i quoted that with saying come and hang out with you and me here live on youtube right now with the link right. so uh, at your own leisure feel free to uh, reach out to all your followers and tell people yeah. how much you, had you yeah. enjoyed yourself here yeah? um of but, course uh, do you do you do you watch any other um sports uh, in america or, or are you quite busy <laughs> doing your own projects nowadays because i know you're so like you said before you're quite busy so interestingly enough um i actually watched wrestling a bit like professional wrestling oh, okay. like wwe oh, type oh, stuff well, okay. that's something else we have in common then that's good which is kind of interesting but hey look there's there's a bunch of british uh uh wrestlers as yeah. well i remember even uh british bulldog yes. davy boy smith and I, all that and funny funny story about that um my, Isn't he from Manchester? I think he is. He he he, he was he was born near Manchester. Yes, I think he was going oh, okay. uh, Lancashire or yeah, he was, he was born in Lancashire. But funny story on David Boy Smith because my father's yeah. uh, father because uh, he, yeah. his, he was adopted, so he's because his his brother uh, father knew yeah. David Boy Smith. They used to train in the gym, and that's how they came friends. Really? And and when they were younger, he, he used to come round to his house to their house yeah. with other wrestlers. Uh, as well, so yeah, they they, they 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 see him in the house all the time. I think your phone's going. No, nah, ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to be messing up the feed. Ignore it. Yeah, well, we're, it's, no, it's I, I, I I just want like you know in case you need to take it in case it might be important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I don't. I don't even know why it still goes on. This, this is it's uh it's a little shared space oh, or whatever. Fine. So that's not even for me. <laughs> but um, it's fine. just the. I- ignore that it's going to so, shut off in a second so I'm but glad, um, i'm glad though that the people i mentioned to you yes on 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 my tweet um, on my uh message to you when i was out to you about how i interviewed like eric bischoff for instance and terry Walls, i know that's and that crazy, you knew who they though. were so i'm glad that that that, that you knew who oh they i know were. i know all of them and remember i i started watching wrestling in the late 90s oh, God, the back uh, early you. 2000s yes. so at the height of it mm. at the height of like the attitude era where it was austin the rock undertaker kane mick foley even you know Shawn michaels Bret hart you name it yeah um that Good that time. both the dudley boys hardy boys all uh, edge christian um and and i loved it i loved it you know and mm. and um you know, so so I will sometimes watch. I'll watch old stuff. Like I'll rewatch some old stuff mm-hmm. too. Um, like from those periods, from like '97 to like '02, oh, really yeah. like that that kind of period. But um, no, I mean it's good. Look, they're performers too, and they're great at what they do, and and that's to be respected as well. So um, speaking you know, it's, speaking it's, of those uh, wrestlers and, and such yeah, have you yeah. have you been followed by any of those great people yet on your social media does that have interest 
Uh, so it's interesting. Um, it's very interesting that <laughs> I actually have been followed by a lot. We we followed each other. Okay. A lot of wrestlers. Oh, really? A lot. Can can you say oh, anybody? Yeah. Can you, can, can you get I mean, any you want me to like I? <laughs> I'm you can remember. Followed by no. I mean, I can tell. I'm followed by um, Kurt Angle, Paul really? Heyman, wow. um, Lita, uh, uh, John Cena, wow. um, uh, uh, even some of the old school ones, you know, Al Snow, uh, Ron Killings, oh, nice. uh, uh, a whole ton of people. Like I, I can think of, of more. And then there's other actors, bigger actors oh, yeah. that we follow each other too that, that I think I nerded out with... Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan when we followed each other. Megan <laughs> from if you know. Yeah. You know Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. yeah. That was uh that was that was awesome. But that's what I'm saying. I mean Twitter and then there's there's a whole other ones that, that do. Um but I I respect I mean the, these people are good and respect and hopefully they see even though I'm a kind of indie filmmaker, I'm doing some stuff as well. And um so that's that's kind of it's nice. We've got some good Mira Sorvino thing follows me, and and just a whole bunch of other people. So that is that is very good. cool. A very cool. Line some of... random politicians. Really? Some politicians follow me. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and that's good. it's 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 pretty cool. Really? I mean, and some singers and 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 things like that. And we've talked to some, and uh, and it's it's cool you know it's cool and and like i said i love following different artists whether mm. it's big small established up and coming all that the whole range i i like that so you know people can shit on twitter sometimes but yeah. you know what it 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 has some good things about it if mm. you don't just focus on the negative no. if you don't just focus on that there's some good stuff about it definitely i i when when when, when people ask me which platform i prefer i always say yeah. twitter and i say why yeah. because you get to interact with celebrities yes most celebrities you would not think oh that they're, they're too busy to see your tweet but some of them do actually respond to you as well which is, which is absolutely great to see, you know and and i never forget you won't know this person but there's a there's a celebrity over here called Paddy McGuinness. He's a comedian slash uh, TV presenter. I do know that name is super familiar. I think I do know that. Okay. That he he, he yes. was on a show uh, with Peter Kay. I don't, I don't know if you heard that guy's uh, name. Uh -huh. he, he's a fellow yeah. comedian. They're based in, they're, 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 they're from Bolton in uh, in, in uh -huh. Greater sure. Manchester. Back in the day, it was called Lancashire. Um, yeah. And they did, they did a show called Phoenix Night. So you might have heard him from that show, maybe. It was uh -huh. a TV show. Yeah. Uh, but I, he used to do a radio show, uh, Paddy McGuinness on the radio, and I used to tweet at him uh, when he was not on one weekend, asking when, when he was coming uh -huh. back on the air because I missed his show. I, I didn't expect to get a response from him, and he did respond to me right away. He, and and uh, you know, it was quite nice. You know, I wasn't expecting to get a response back because I thought he probably too busy to respond right, to tweets. Right, but right. no, yeah, he did. It was quite good. And I've had response from other uh, celebrities as well, like. Um, really? Uh, Amanda Redman, who's an actor, uh, or actress, yeah. to say, and uh, she's in a yeah. she's she's in a show called New Tricks. I was asking her how come mm -hmm. she's not in it anymore, and then she told me, and it was it was quite good because you did you 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 think you'd be you surprised. Think. You you would be surprised that people if if you comment that, and this is my rule of thumb. And like I said, yeah. I have a long way to go. I I think. You know, for Twitter, I do have a decent following. You do, and, and you might have that... to help me with getting some people on my show, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. No yeah, offense, that's no right. Offense, you know, no, but, I'm not trying to but... use you to get these people on my show. No, right, right. right. Hey, it's it's a building block. Yeah. It's a building block that way. Please but, don't um... think that. Please don't think that. Cause it's not, that's, no, that's no, not my no, way. no, of course not. <laughs> You're awesome. Don't even worry about that. But I was saying, though, you'd be surprised that if somebody contact somebody that's bigger mm. and really you know it with, with genuine thing not being like weird sleazy otherwise you know spamming type stuff more often than not you'd be surprised people will these celebrities will respond or at least will engage and all yeah. of that and i try to be very open with it too don't get me wrong i get some weird messages too do not get me wrong but more often than not if you're coming in again genuine respectful nice i will respond back um there's no reason not to so yeah, yeah. 
No, I agree mm. with you there, and mm. uh, I should have put you on years ago. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, hey, we're doing it now, and we're I'm doing sure it that now. we'll do it again. Oh too. yeah, most definitely. Uh, 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 as, long wanna, that, you know? as long as you want to come back on this, uh, you know, this the uh, the best kept secret I call it because it's kind of uh, not many people know about yeah. it yet. Uh, so, yeah. I think you want to come back on here again, and uh, you know, it'd be it'd be great I'd to come on the show to, to, uh, to your, I'd love to. your success of these films we talked about today and your future projects yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, it'd be great. Um, but I, I will mention this though, uh, because you mentioned about yeah. this person a few minutes ago, uh, Kurt Angle. You said that you you be bye bye yeah. Kurt Angle on on Twitter, uh, Olympic gold medalist uh, as well. You have broken yep. neck in 1996 Olympics. Uh, amazing, been, amazing I, wrestler. I, I, yes, he is. He is, and and I've seen him. I've been luckily to see him twice wrestle. By the way, I've seen him nice. twice. Once in TNA in the in the over company outside WWE. Yep, I know TNA, uh, sure. Impact Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great comeback by Jeff Jarrett, uh, his podcast. Yep. Uh, they followed me on, on Twitter, his podcast, because it, it was a, uh, it used to be known as a, a wrestling company, which Jeff Jarrett founded. But then That's he, right. he rebranded it to his podcast. They, 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 they still follow me. I don't know why they followed me in the first place, but I, I oh, thank you for that. Oh, it's cool, though. Yeah, yeah. It, it did, it did. And um, so uh, I, I, I saw him in Manchester, UK in 2009 uh, when they came over nice. the UK tour. And then a few years later in 2016, um, they were meant to be in the U. They, they were meant to be in, in Manchester again. But because yeah. of the UFC was also there, they were kicked out of the venue because UFC oh. was more present. It wasn't TNA. It was it was it was like a it was a UK company, but it wasn't very well known company kind of thing. So they were yeah. kicked out. So the only other venue which was available on the same night was in uh, Ontringham at the Manchester Storms Ice Rink. You know the uh, interesting, the yeah, yeah, Silver Blaze yeah. Arena as they call it. Yeah. So, and that's only 20 minutes from my house walking that's that's perfect. Walking. so that's even better for me and I in all my life I never thought I would ever see Kurt Angle or Bret Hart or Melina yeah. or uh, Jim Cornette being in on right. at a small venue with Cody Rose as well who, who we fought yep. um, so it was it was very good to be there and, and it was a reasonable ticket price you know if you want to do a, a standard yep. ticket price it was £15 and it was a great view you had a great view of the ring and, and you could see perfectly the rest of the no, Kurt Kurt Angle's awesome and we've we've never talked on Twitter we just follow each other yeah. I don't even know if he sees he doesn't follow too many people but I don't know if he sees any of my stuff but I got a lot of respect for Kurt Angle he's awesome or else I wouldn't have followed him yeah. um, he's he's um, he's he's a he's super talented he was great on the mic he still is great on the mic the whole bit but uh, but yeah I, I think in terms of the wrestlers uh, the bigger ones yeah like Kurt Angle, Paul Heyman, and and John Cena, those two. But um, it's funny but even John I, Cena I don't... as well because uh, my friend, uh, she has like thirty followers on on, on Twitter, and John. Oh, when Cena... he followed her, yeah. yeah. But I've been following he, John Cena for ages. He began to follow ages. a lot of people, and I've been following yeah. John Cena for ages, and he's never followed me. So it's, it's like either John Cena sees my stuff and does not like me, or he's just <laughs> blatantly not seen any of my content i i do like his stuff i do sometimes retweet his stuff right. but he's never followed me I, and I interesting people, how is he missing me how is he not following me i it's it's that <laughs> is interesting but john cena again i because i think he writes a lot of motivational yes. stuff too when i've seen it and in respect to him you know he's he's using his massive platform mm. uh yeah. i think i think for good and, well, and I, like everything. How, I, I do like how he follows people back though, because, because for a long time he never used to but then all of a sudden in the last two or three and then, years and then all of a sudden it was crazy yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's quite good yeah. because you know lots of people can now can, can now say I'm being put by John Cena but yeah, that's me, right. not right. me I gotta right. wait I'm still waiting for that moment to come yeah, hey, it'll happen. It'll happen. You never know. I but, might, um, I might have to get him on the show first before I can ask him why you not follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I, I, I think so. I think so. That would be that would be good, right? Yeah. Um, be good reaction. But no, it's it's um it's great. And like I said, I mean, I'm on Twitter pretty much every day, mm. and and I I enjoy it, and it's nice interacting and just all of that just doing my posts and, and just seeing how people react to it and, and and all of that but um 
but no this this was great too though i'm serious you know and and like i said i enjoy doing these things when i can and yeah. um and just gotta you know i'm just i'm excited for what's to come yeah absolutely i agree with you there um you mentioned as well with uh, you know you got Paul Heyman who's managing Brock Lesnar again, and you got Lita right. who is coming to the Royal Rumble this Sun this Saturday uh, night. Um, so Liv you... Morgan follows me. Oh, nice. Liv Morgan oh, yes. follows me. Yes. Um, a, a whole bunch of others. Like I said, I could. I. I wonder I, how they come across your work. I wonder. I wonder how they know. Well, we we follow each other. I'll either follow them. They'll follow me back. Something gotcha. like that. So you know. I do and... with you when. If I oh someone and there was celebrity for me to follow them back. <laughs> kind of yeah, thing. yeah, no, I mean it's it's but again, all all of them are are great, you know. Um uh N- Natalie Neidhart follows me. Oh yes. Um yeah, yeah. yeah, she she's great and um yeah, so so it's it's um it's cool. I mean, it's cool, and and I I respect all of them, mm. and you know, just trying to keep building myself up too. Absolutely, you know? that's all you can do. Um, but yeah. I hope um, maybe uh, maybe for yourself uh, because I reached out to Kurt Angle's people uh, last year to bring him on this show, and it uh-huh. seemed like we were gonna get him on the show, but then his people just stopped responding, and then we got a response back to say when we could do it. I know that's Same. that's that's how it'll go. My basic rule of thumb is, look, like, it's harmless reaching out to somebody. The worst thing that can happen is they just don't respond or they say no. Yeah. Best exactly. thing is they say yes. Yeah. So, like I said, if you, con- like, like how you did with me, you, you, you sent a very nice message, the whole bit, you broke it down, you put the link, the whole thing, and, and that's it. I mean, and I think you'd be surprised mm. with, with, um, people being receptive towards that so all i say my friend is just keep keep plugging away and keep keep at it because you're still you're doing very well seriously and you're only going to do better well thank you for that and, uh, and, and i can say thank for you as well and uh, last you. last question for you before we hang sure. this up um sure. who would you uh suggest or recommend me to have on the show after you that's like in terms of anything or a wrestler celebrity or any anybody any, anybody anybody yeah oh man Put somebody me on the spot somebody who is one. Who, somebody who is easy to actually reach out to <laughs> oh who, easy who, to reach out yeah, to yeah like who well who, who'd be good to like contact i mean like? i mean personally like obviously because he's a close friend of mine and he and he's a great talker and and everything like that somebody like um my buddy chris levine would probably love doing something I've heard like of this. Chris he, Levine. Uh, yeah, Cr- Chris that, Levine. Just the uh, that he, actor, isn't it? yeah. The actor, yeah. He was the main guy in the That's handler. Right. I knew he, I knew the name. He, <laughs> and he's he's also on Twitter. So if you it's I think only Chris Levine or you see we follow each other. If you reach out or tweet at him or something like that, he he'd probably love to do this and he's a great he's you you'd have some very good conversations with him so i'd say he's somebody that that you'd probably enjoy uh bringing on you know cool that's great so that's Uh, one person yeah that's one person indeed i will uh have to tweet him uh on twitter to see if i can get him on the show i I figure out what what to say to him Uh, And (laughs) and if you no, but just say say that you we we did something if you drop my name Believe me, he's gonna respond. What, and if what, he does, then I'm gonna give him a phone call. All yeah. Right? So. Well, what what I could do is, since you've uh, dropped him here on the on the show, maybe I could just put the clip up and treat him, saying at yeah, yes. Chris Levine, yeah. um, you know, uh, at that, your name, has said that you should come on my show. That would probably do it. And maybe, he would. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's how he might see it and uh, might respond. And that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. So, uh, yeah, no, he will respond. Don't even worry, he will respond. So um, that's somebody that I would say. But no, this was this was great. I, I had a great time. You know. No, thank you uh, again, uh, Michael, for for of, the, of your busy uh, schedule. Because you're a busy guy. Um, if you uh, want to uh, follow, and I hope you will follow Michael on all his social media. One last look before we hang this up. Uh, you can find him on Facebook, like him on Facebook, check him out to all your friends on Facebook. If you're on Twitter, follow him on Twitter, check him out to all your friends and followers on Twitter. Tell him about Michael 
and again on Instagram. Help him to boost his followers up for me so he can get <laughs> verified by Instagram because it's the one place where he's not verified at the moment, but he should right. be because he does some right. great, great work. You're very welcome. Truly mean that. And uh, if you Thank enjoyed you. this episode of my show, then make sure you give it a like, share it around to all your friends, tell them all about me, tell them about Michael, tell them all about great movies which we discussed here today as well. If you uh, if you want to leave a question for my future interview with Michael, then leave them in the uh, comments section below, and I will surely ask those to Michael in our next episode. Uh, our next uh, next time we have him on the show and if you're new around here make sure to smash that subscribe button because I do have over 162 subscribers and until the next episode drops enjoy the rest of your Monday afternoon or night thank you thank you so much this was great